Good morning, it's Tuesday, November the 23rd, and you're watching Agoracom Small Cap News TV. I'm your host, Paul Kandakos. Agoracom TV is a daily, fast-paced show, bringing you the best press releases, along with the halts at the open, so that you can only profit from them and potentially find your next great small cap investment. Folks, I got three great press releases for you this morning. Two out of the Canadian side, one out of the U.S. side, and I've got five halts to report on in the second segment of our show. So without any further ado, let's get down to business. Our lead story comes out of a company called Fire River Gold. They trade on the TSX Venture under the symbol FAU. They're no stranger to Agoracom TV because they've been putting a lot of great news out recently. And disclaimer time, they aren't a Agoracom client. However, as always, the news stands on its own two feet. Today, the company is reporting on the first results obtained from their 28,000 meter drill program. And this is at their Nixon Fork Gold Mine, which is located in Alaska's Tintina Gold Belt. The company so far has drilled 6,700 meters, uh, of which 2,400 meters were from surface. The company has received assays for results from 16 of the 19 surface drill holes thus far, and that's when we're reporting on this morning. They've returned 37 grams per ton of gold over 3.6 meters, so great intercept there, and that's in hole number seven. And included within that, they've got a more concentrated intercept of 80 grams per ton of gold over 1.1 meters. Additionally, we've got hole number 15, which returned 28 grams per ton of gold over 1.4 meters. We've got results pending for additional surface and underground holes. Uh, the 28,000 meter program continues to be ongoing, and the second diamond drill hole was purchased and is en route to the mine site to help expedite the drilling program. A little bit more about the company. They're a near-term production company with an experienced technical team focused on bringing its flagship project, the Nixon Fort Gold Mine, back into production within the next 12 months. So obviously it was a past-producing mine. Companies last at 48 cents, high of 75 cents, low of 34 cents, market cap of just under $29 million. Moving on to our next company. It's another resource company. Gold Canyon Resources, they trade on the venture under the symbol GCU. The company is reporting on results from their Spring Pool Gold Project, which is located in the prolific mining Red Lake Mining District. Uh, the company is announcing results from hole number 24, which returned a uh, pretty lengthy intercept here, 225 meters, containing 1.5 grams per ton of gold. And included within that, they've got 47 meters of 3.5 grams per ton of gold. So great intercept and pretty good concentrations there. The company is an, an acquirer and explorer of mineral and precious metal properties. They're last at 166, high of $1.85, low of 15 cents, mark cap of approximately $121 million. Now, moving south of the border, TechFaith Technology. Uh, TechFaith Wireless Communication Technology Limited. They trade on the NASDAQ under the symbol CNTF. The company is announcing unaudited financial results for the third quarter, ended September 30th, 2010. We've got net revenue of $69 million. That's a 30% increase year over year. Gross margin for the quarter was 24%. That's up from 19% year over year. And net income was $4.3 million, and that's compared to a loss of $3.4 million year over year. The company is a China-based original development product provider focused on the original design and sales of mobile phone products. Companies last at 392, high of 422, low of 191, market cap of approximately $186 million. Now, moving on to the halts, as I mentioned at the top of the show, I've got five for you. CIC Energy Corp on the TSX. Under the symbol ELC, halted pending news. Victoria Gold on the venture under the symbol VIT, halted pending news. Uh, Tourmaline Oil Corp on the TSX under the symbol TOU, halted pending closing. Uh, Strad Energy Services on the TSX under the symbol SDY. Halted pending closing. That's a wrap for today's show. Thanks for joining us. I'm your host, Paul Kandakos. Make sure to join us again here tomorrow. We've got more great press releases and halts at the open for you.